Hey everybody, Matthew Hollis here uh, with 365 Films. Basically what I do is I review a film a day uh, for 365 days. So I watch and review a film a day for 365 days. So the film today on day 13 is Mad Max Fury Road. Uh, I'd already seen this film before, but my father hadn't. And uh, I, I decided, hey, well, let's sit down and just watch it because he hadn't seen it yet. And uh, I, he's seen all the other Mad Max films, I believe, and, and so have I. And man, this one is the best of all, all four of them so far. Uh, the cinematography in this film is incredible. I mean, some of the shots that they get, even though that some of them are CG rendered, and uh, it's it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. Uh, it would look great even in black and white. I think that's something they plan on doing at some point. Uh, but the acting is really, really good, especially from Charlize Theron. And the direction, uh, man, the, the direction of this movie is top caliber. I mean, uh, George Miller did an incredible job. He's had, he's been making this film, Mad Max Fury Road, for something like 20 years. Uh, he actually storyboarded every single shot in the film on the walls of an entire room, and he, he'd been working on it forever, trying to get it funded and everything like that. And nobody would really, really fund it or anything like that, and finally he got the funding for it, and man, did it pay off. Everybody's kind of now asking for another Mad Max film, and he's going... I don't have any left, you guys. Like, that's the only one. Uh, he worked on it for a really long time, and I, I feel like it 100% shows. And what George Miller really brought to it uh, that not a lot of young directors do is practical effects. I mean, man, Mad Max Fury Road has so many practical effects, so many explosions, and this is an action movie from start to finish. The the uh, entire film could be on silent. Like, you could have no no voices or anything in the film and still understand 100% where the story is going and what's going on because everything's told through uh, the camera. Everything's told through the action. The action moves the story along, which is a filmmaking technique that you really, really don't see. Normally, every single movie nowadays, especially action movies, think that you need to have exposition. You know, they'll have specific characters that come in, and Inception's a perfect case of this, uh, in Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, where he just comes in and kind of explains everything. So it's like, hey, audience, I know you don't understand what's going on, so let me just go ahead and, uh, and tell you what's happening. And this film really doesn't do that. It doesn't try to explain any of the weirdness either of it. Uh, the, the makeup and the costumes in this film are incredible. And I'm not, I mean, the cars that they built for this film are insane. Like, cars on top of cars. And uh, not only is that cool and incredibly creative, but, uh, man, to see George Miller... Uh, the guy that had directed, you know, Babe, Pig in the City, and uh, and a bunch of other kids' movies like Happy Feet in the past couple of years, come back with Mad Max after so many years of being away from it, and just knock it out of the ballpark, and show all these, you know, young directors, you know, George Miller's in his set late 70s, early 80s, I believe, so he came along and redid exactly what you should do in an action movie and just knocked it out of the ballpark so all the action is incredible and not only is the action incredible but uh everything about the film really ties together really well and uh it ends on it ends exactly where it should i mean the the film you do not feel the length of it at all so definitely definitely uh watch it if you haven't it's one of the best films of the year the film is mad max fury road uh, if you haven't seen it, it is, like I said, one of the best films of 2015. So thank you so much, guys, for getting on here. I really, really appreciate your support. I'll have another review ready for you guys tomorrow. And, uh, yep, that's pretty much it. I see somebody asking what was the best film. The best film that I've seen in 2015 so far is uh, Ex Machina. It's kind of an independent film. I might review that in these 365 days. I'd have to watch it, rewatch it to review it, though. So maybe I will, maybe I won't. But thank you so much, guys. Really, really appreciate you getting on here and uh, talk to you tomorrow. I'll have another review for you tomorrow. So thank you.